is that I wear fake designer bags. Girl. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today we're just going to hop right into the video. Um, so today I'm going to be trying out Camo CC Cream. I'm so excited to be trying these out today because I just love a natural, dewy, healthy glow for every day. And I don't like wearing makeup all the time. So I just want to see how this CC cream looks on my skin. I'm so excited. Elf is sponsoring this video. I love Elf products, y'all. This, this was one of the first makeup brands I started using when I was wearing makeup. So I'm so excited they are sponsoring this video. And I'm so happy to be trying these camo CC creams out. So I do have three colors right here that I'm going to be testing on my face to see which one, you know, looks more like my skin so I can get that nice glowy everyday effortless look that a CC cream is supposed to give you. So, so yeah, I'm so excited and I heard so many good things about this. Y'all, this has SPF 30 in it. It has niacinamide in it. I don't know if y'all know the benefits of niacinamide, but it minimizes your pores. This has collagen in it, peptides, all the skincare products you would want in your skincare routine in a CC cream. So we love that. Very hydrating as well. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Y'all know I love me some hyaluronic acid. I love when my skin is just very, very moisturized and glowy and healthy. I am going to be doing a full face while I answer y'all assumptions about me moi because people just love to talk about me and assume things and whatever if you want to see everything that i talk about and also the elf camo cc cream on me just keep on watching okay y'all so i have three colors here i have the medium 355w i have the 375n and then i have the 330w so I'm going to see which one looks the best on my skin just to give me that natural coverage. Okay, so this one is the 355. Five. Just put that right there. Oh, this one is the 375N. Let me see. Because when I wear a CC cream, I like my match to be like on point. And then this one is 330W, but I think this one is too light. I already know, yeah, that's too light. But I'm going to see what the two look like. Yeah, it's matching with my neck mix, so I think we're going to mix the two. So I think we're going to mix the 375N and the 355W. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Y'all, I love this stuff. I'm running out. I need to go get a new one. And I'm not going to do my eyebrows. I just got them tinted, girl. So. So I'm just going to apply with this e.l.f. Blending Brush. Yes, this is a perfect match those two colors mix when i have to get color match my skin is really funny because my skin tends to be darker down here and then very light on my cheeks so it's really hard for me to get color match that's why i mix my colors so it can give me that that perfect even out color oh my god this is looking so good oh, oh my god my skin looks so good. It looks just like butter. Oh my god. Let me give y'all a close up. Like, stop playing. This is exactly what I need for like an everyday, like effortless look. Oh my god. It looks like foundation, but it doesn't feel like foundation. That's crazy. It's so like wet, y'all, and so full coverage. What? Oh my god. Darker circles where? Like, come on now. Let me give y'all a close up. Like, look how good that looks. And this is the perfect color match. So, so yeah, y'all, I'm going to be just finishing my face, answering the assumptions. And I also am going to be trying out the 
camo concealer which I'm excited about so I'm gonna see which one looks good on my face normally I do like a bright under eye but I'm going for like a natural like my skin so I don't know if I want to make it too bright but I'm gonna see and this is in the color tan sand Mmm, okay. Yes. Snatch my under eyes up, baby. Okay. Talk, let's talk about it. Y'all see that? Wow. Y'all, my under eye is snatched. Y'all need to go pick up this camo concealer in tan sand. Wow. I'm very much impressed. Make sure you shop the links down below. So, anyways, we're just gonna hop right into the assumptions because I know that's what y'all wanna hear. It's so many, y'all. It's so many. <laughs> Sometimes this stuff overwhelms me because it's so much. I <laughs> I assume that you don't like doing YouTube anymore because you be doing short vlogs what that's crazy to me but no i love doing youtube y'all but as far as like me cutting down my vlogs from like being an hour to like 30 minutes now i'm trying to get back into my 30 minute algorithm because from my side the longer vlogs travel more i don't know really know how to explain it but since my other videos were an hour long obviously y'all will watch it longer so youtube would push it into a different algorithm it would just make it more in the recommended so people will watch it but and then when i changed it to being cut down more it wasn't getting pushed as much so i'm like okay like i gotta stop making hour vlogs because sometimes my vlogs can't be an hour so yeah so i'm like no i'm not gonna be um what is it i'm not gonna be guaranteed one hour vlogs all the time so i'll be having so many sponsorships y'all i can't be doing these hour long vlogs i have to split up the vlog i'd rather split up the vlog and get my work done than have a full week of blogging and be one sponsorship if that makes sense i don't know i'm just trying to work smarter not harder you know what i'm saying so no i love doing youtube and 30 minutes is a long time like some of these vlogs be like 10 minutes like i feel like 30 30 to 45 minutes really good for vlogs i'm sorry if you want a long vlog i mean i have no problem with it i just feel like work smarter not harder if that makes sense anyway <laughs> i assume you're very private when it comes to dating your dating life i very much am because i just want to keep that part of my life off the internet people already judge already so if i gotta take an l in private if something happened i'd rather take my l in private than people be off in my business anyways yeah i like to keep my dating life private just because i just want to keep that part of my life off the internet i don't need people writing whoever i'm dating and be like oh kyra doing this kyra doing that making up lies and stuff like getting all up in their head like no that's not healthy that's not a healthy relationship i don't know people are just weird and their intentions are just not good so i rather just people not know i rather you know if i'm in a relationship or not than know who it is if that makes sense like yeah i'm making known that i'm with somebody but you don't need to know who like why why is it your business knowing who i'm you know doing it on is going to make you sleep at night like why <laughs> so yeah i rather just keep it private i like it better that way <laughs> okay so somebody said i assume you would try girls if the opportunity presented itself <laughs> i plead the fifth no just laying <laughs> no i wouldn't i'm not really interested i mean i love bad bitches don't get me wrong i love baddie i love looking at a baddie i love a pretty girl but i'm just not attracted to girls like that you know i would never take it there like it's a lot of girls out here in the, in the a that do do that which is crazy to me it's okay <laughs> but yeah i'm just not interested in any girl sexually like i just not i'm not mm -mm, no it's just not me but i don't get me wrong if you do if you do 
like i don't judge you like do you girl but no mm -mm, absolutely not somebody said i assume that you'll be married by january 2022 girl that's right around the corner when how 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 sway how 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 please tell me what is it i assume you only date six figure men y'all so listen sometimes when you grow get older and start making your own money as a woman you really start to really appreciate what a man does for you as far as like your mental health being respectable just going above and beyond for you and just looking at different things other than money because i provide my own lifestyle so i really don't look for a man to provide for me of course i'm gonna always look at a man as a provider like like as in the household but now that i'm older i am looking for different types of you know qualities in a man you know if you get what i'm saying it's more than just money it's more than like okay you can pay for stuff but what else can you offer like what else like what can you teach me can you be respectable to me and my feelings like do you actually really care like stuff like that just i put into consideration now that i'm older when it comes to dating and this dating life and stuff like that and when it comes to who you know i'll be doing a nasty on you, know, you know what i'm saying like i don't want to give it to just any rich nigga or anything like that because no i'm a pisces i'm a, i'm emotional i'm emotional right now because i'm on my period but but yeah my skin looks so good and natural and nice okay what should i do next okay let's do blush <laughs> because this is really like a natural beat i'm really not doing too much so i set my under eyes though oh let's cover our nose somebody said i assume you're ready to leave atl because it's not what you thought i'm not actually ready to leave atlanta i don't see i i don't know if i still see myself here yet i'm i'm it's coming up to a year uh new year's eve but i feel like i have so much more to accomplish here i feel like i'm just really not taking advantage of it because i just be in my feels i just be feeling some type of way like i'm in a weird place like so many acts i assume that you're happy blah 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 like it's crazy i was just watching this big sean little interview thing and he was like i was doing all this making all this money but i was still not happy and i had to find a balance and it's crazy like y'all think of myself so highly and oh my god she's a youtuber like she makes all this money she getting all these views she got all these subscribers but at the end of the day none of that literally matters like if you're not happy like i'm serious i just have to really find what is for me and what i'm really supposed to do and what is really my purpose but i really feel like my purpose is things just happen to me because every time something happens to me y'all i swear to god i want to tell y'all so bad i want to tell y'all so y'all can learn from it like i'm about to film a another sit down video soon just so i can you know tell y'all how i handle things i just feel like i still haven't you know did what i'm supposed to here so we'll just see what the rest of the year brings because i'm really to ready to go out with a bang like bang bang killer so we'll see we'll see so we just gonna shake it out because i really do like atlanta it's always things to do black owned businesses period so and i love to support and you know so yeah i'm really not ready to leave yet i'm just you know somebody said i assume you're careful when it comes to making new friends love you kyra love you too boo and yes absolutely y'all know that tiktok when it's like um when they're on facetime and they're being weird and they're like bye when they can't take your personality my personality can be too much for some people people say i have a good personality all the time every time they meet me like let me call royal right now because he just called me i'm gonna be like royal what did you think about me when you first met me <laughs> Mommy. What did you think about me when you first met me? I, was I was humble and down to earth. Yeah, did I have a good personality? Yeah, it was cool. Whatever. Was real 
<laughs> a real giggly. <laughs> feel like I'm just like very giggly and just goofy all the time. And I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just be protecting myself from people. That's why I really just, and I'm an overthinker too. I feel like people just be, I don't know. Like I'm such a bad overthinker. It's sad. Like I be thinking people just be like, don't be liking me for real. But I don't care. At least I live in my truth and I'm not fake and stuff like that. And somebody right below it, it said, it said, I assume you only hang out with celebs, not regular people. I've heard. What celebrities have I hung out with? I've hang out. I hang out with regular people. Like I don't hang out with no celebrities. I'm not thirsty to. Okay, so I have this Elf Powder Blush Palette, which I cannot wait to use. Try out. But I'm going to use this brown color just a little bit for my eyeshadow. Like a little natural eye. Nothing major. Somebody said, I I assume you have it all figured out in terms of mastering social media. Give us some gems, sis. Um, I feel like I don't really know like all the gems of social media. But the only thing I can tell y'all is consistency basically that's really the key and get um gaining a relationship with your uh supporters because you don't want to feel like you're above your supporters you want to definitely make sure you make them feel like a friend or make sure you are paying attention because that's very important when it comes to um social media consistency and then also you know showing them that you you care about them somebody said i assume you have celebrities sliding in your dms i mean what girl doesn't have celebrities sliding in their dms like i told y'all i don't want no man like that i need a man to pay attention to me i like attention i like somebody who's gonna actually give up you know okay so the number one assumption that is really being asked up in here is that i wear fake designer bags Girl, listen, let me roll my sleeves up for this one. <laughs> First of all, all of my bags are real. All of them are real. Okay, so I don't understand where this fake Chanel bag information came from. Um, so it was very much clown activity, which I didn't have to you know address because you know all my supporters were sending me like oh my god they're saying your chanel bag is fake like oh my god i'm not gonna run on instagram like oh my god they said this about me like oh my god i never wear real chanel like on the video in the vlog i showed me unboxing this bag and which i'm gonna go get because i have the receipt i have the receipts from the essay in houston from the chanel boutique like i don't understand but what i'm not gonna do is address every single thing that is said about me because i'm not gonna address clown activity that's not what i do um i definitely control my emotions and nobody is definitely gonna get a reaction out of me especially somebody that's not putting money in my pockets make up things that's giving y'all don't have nothing else to talk about so for one i'm not doing that so next time if something is said about me i'm just gonna let y'all like think what you want to think like what what's what what's the difference you're gonna stay tuned anyways first of all and second of all if i was wearing a fake chanel bag i would give y'all the link i would give you the website i would let you know that girl i got me a, a fake chanel and this is where you need to go so you can rock it too i'm never that girl i live in my truth i don't never live beyond my means if i want to go buy a chanel bag i can literally tell y'all i can go buy 10 if i wanted to i can buy you one too but listen i'm not that type of girl i'm very much humble i don't need to say stuff like that because i'm not gonna dummy down wearing a replica bag because my supporters a girl that supports me could be wearing a replica bag and there's nothing wrong with that it's nothing wrong with wearing a replica looking fly if you want to wear a replica do you boo like i have nothing against that and i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god like here to go to receipt here go to receipt to the bag like i'm not gonna go on the internet 
and say like who am i to be wearing a replica bag like what 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 are you saying it's just goofy to me because i'm not gonna dummy it down to make it seem like i'm better than anybody because my supporters could be wearing a replica bag and there's nothing wrong with that like i did not at all i even told y'all one time in a vlog where to get this Cartier nail bracelet and y'all went to go buy it up because now the girl is asking to work with me so and she ran up that and she ran up that price on that bracelet too which is so funny to me I mean I'm not gonna react to clown activity because that's just not my character you need to believe what you want to believe because I showed y'all the receipt okay so this is the Chanel the Chanel -y. she's very much 100% real <laughs> But I'm gonna show y'all, so we're gonna unbox her. Everybody been talking about you, girl. You is really the star of the show. So, anyways, here goes the tag. I'm gonna show y'all the tag so you can, you know, go scan it and, you know, go look up what you need to look up. <laughs> because I don't, I don't know. Do what you do, boo. Here's the bag. And oh, here's the um, you know, the little envelope it comes the receipt comes in, okay? But um yeah, Chanel boutique. And I don't know why this bag is being compared to one that's on the website. Cause I don't know if y'all are familiar, but I don't know if you ever shopped in a Chanel boutique. But some things that are on the internet could not like be in the boutique, you know, like any other store. That people were actually writing me believing that, like, okay. Like, you want a reaction for what? What? For what? I'm not going to waste my energy on stuff that I already showed y'all. Never going to address any clown activity. So, think what you want to think, boo. I don't care. Like, and if you are a female and... Ugh, like how can anybody be attracted to you like how can your man that you lay up with be attracted to you that you're so caught up in somebody else's business and so caught up in somebody else's life and so caught up in making lies about somebody like I don't ugh, like that's not even attractive like that is just not cute okay but we keep it cute over here but anyways I'm done I'm not gonna get in too much in depth of this because I really want to make a video on you know controlling your emotions you know not letting people get a reaction so and i do it very well because my mother is a virgo and she always taught me to have tough skin like let people think what they want to think you don't need to you know show proof of anything so anyways moving on i'm about to put on one of these blushes i think i'm gonna go for this shimmery pink color oh i love me a good pink blush mm oh my god so cute i love me a good rosy cheek i love me a good blush this is so pretty somebody said somebody said i assume you cry a lot yes and i'm a pisces i'm a cry baby especially on my period girl okay y'all so i'm just gonna top off my lips with this elf lip shine y'all my skin looks so good i just looked in the mirror like come on now do not play with me y'all what face card elite y'all need to get this camo y'all need to get the camo concealer and the cc cream like it's giving foundation but like skin you know so i'm very much impressed come on now like stop it and the blush oh my god for every day like effortless beat but like oh so yeah girl that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and y'all make sure you guys shop the links down below make sure y'all go get this camo cc cream because you need this in your life oh my god it looks so good like flawless oh, i'm impressed i love it i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love y'all so much and i'll see y'all next video bye Looking for the love